that a good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep. Words taken from today's Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. This time of year always brings us to a maritime anniversary, which I think is very important to keep. You all know more or less of the event and the name of the most infamous ship of the 20th century. But there was a certain passenger on that ship whose name never figures prominently, if at all, in any commemoration of the disaster. Most of you have no doubt never heard the name. But he was a man of the order of Melchizedek. So on this Sunday of the Good Shepherd, I would like to offer some humble homage to a fellow priest, Father Thomas Biles. Thomas Biles was born in Yorkshire, England in 1870. Although he was the son of a Congregationalist minister and went to Balliol College in Oxford to study for a similar career, while in Oxford he converted to the Catholic faith and went afterwards to Rome to study for the priesthood. He returned to England as a parish priest in Essex. An invitation to officiate at the wedding of his younger brother William, also converted to the Catholic faith, prompted Father Biles to make the trip to New York City. A priest is taught to say every Mass as though it were his first, his last, his only. On the morning of Low Sunday, the 14th of April, 1912, Father Biles found himself in the middle of the North Atlantic during the maiden voyage of the largest ship on the ocean sea, the RMS Titanic. The name of this ship symbolized the prideful spirit of an age which was about to plunge itself into the bloodiest war the world had ever seen, a war in which the nations of formerly Christian Europe would tear each other to shreds and refute the myth of eternal progress with the blood of millions. On that low Sunday in 1912, Father Biles said mass for second and third class passengers aboard the Titanic. The sermon was reportedly on the need for a spiritual life belt in the shape of prayer and the sacraments when in danger of spiritual shipwreck in times of temptation. That evening, Father Biles was walking on the upper deck reciting his breviary when the Titanic was struck by an iceberg. As the ship was sinking, he assisted many third-class passengers up to the boat deck to the lifeboats. It was reported that he twice refused a place on a lifeboat. Toward the very end, he recited the rosary and other prayers, heard confessions, and gave absolution to more than 100 passengers who remained trapped on the stern of the ship after all of the lifeboats had been launched. His body, if recovered, was never identified. His brothers installed a door in his memory at his first and only parish church, St. Helens in Chippingonger, Essex. St. Peter tells us today that Christ suffered for us, leaving an example that we might follow in his footsteps. It is in the most horrific times of life that we see that the priest is Christ. He is the channel of God's grace. He is Jacob's ladder upon which descends grace from God to men, and men make their ascent to heaven. Priests are not ordained to bring us safety, but salvation. The heresy of safety was condemned long ago by the mouth of our Savior himself. Whosoever would seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever loses his life for my sake shall find it. Surely we all would have benefited from hearing that last sermon of Father Biles. We have no need to wonder whether spiritual shipwreck is upon us. This colossal ship of ours is taking in water by the minute, and a large portion of the crew seems content to let it sink rather than change course and abandon the spirit of this drowning age. 
You, the passengers, have no recourse but to cling to the original course handed down from the first crew, who heard the voice of the captain himself. The only safety equipment you have is prayer and the sacraments. They do not bring the safety that the world promises. No servant is greater than his master. If we pray like our good shepherd in the time of his most bitter passion, we shall all sooner or later cry out, Save me, O God, for the waters have come in even unto my soul. Unto our soul, yes, but these foul waters of the world will never drown our soul as long as we persevere in the one true worship of God and receive devoutly the sacraments that come to us through the priesthood of Jesus Christ. By the intercession of all good shepherds who have gone before us, may all priests and future priests now in formation have the courage to lay down their lives for the sheep so that they too may be a ladder of grace to life everlasting. Amen.